Hey there, Alan Matthews here from Classical Guitar Shed. Here we are talking about how to tune using a tuner or a tuner app. And by the time you see this, whatever tuner I actually showed you would probably be obsolete. So we're just gonna talk about principles of how these tuners work, electronic tuners. First off, if you're a beginner, you should use a tuner. If, you should also learn other methods of tuning and test those, but just for the sake of your sanity, then at, just use a, an electronic tuner and learn to tune as quickly as possible that so you can actually get to the good work of learning to play the guitar. This uh, I actually have to tell you a quick story. I was in, in Brazil in Florianopolis and I was laying on the couch one afternoon, windows open and everything, this little beach shack place and I heard a guy come out next door and he tuned his guitar and he tuned his guitar for half an hour, 40 minutes. It took him forever to tune this guitar. And then he played Stairway to Heaven once, and then he was done. Okay, first off, whenever you're tuning with an electronic tuner, you need to know what string you're tuning. So we're just gonna talk about this low E string. And so you need to know that this low string is called an E. Your strings are E, A, D, G, B, E. You're just gonna have to remember that. You can download, you can see below and download a sheet with everything that you need on there for, for tuning. but you need to know what note you're tuning because if this is an F, whenever you're tuning, then well, even if you do everything right, it's still gonna be wrong. So you need to make sure that the string you're tuning is the letter that's shown on the tuner. So the E note shown, that's what, you're, that's what you're gonna want. So then what you're gonna find is that you have these rectangles or arrows or something on either side of this letter. And this is how we show if you're a little bit high or a little bit low. So what we've got is when things go to the right, then that means things are, are higher. This also means that if you see this, you're too high and you need to come back to low. So the pitch is what this is delineating. So the pitch is now too high. It's three, three arrows over there. If you then got to this, then you're getting closer to in tune. And if you did this, you're even closer to in tune. You're just a little bit too high and you need to come down just a little bit in your tuning. And then finally, if you're like this, you are in tune. This is in tune and this, it might change color to green or something at this point. Sometimes you'll have red tuners that then will, the lights will turn green. There's all kind of great high tech things these days. The, the opposite of that is going lower. If you have these happening, then you're too low and then you need to go higher. And to do that, then you would tune up. Which direction to tune this? Well, one of the ways that you could do it is just to listen and just play a note and give it a big crank. Okay, drum, that means it's going higher. That means I just went lower. And so you can figure out which way you need to turn it by just giving it a nice big turn. When you're using a tuner, this is just a quick tuning tip in general, and you can find many more tuning tips uh, at the link below. But if you go below the note and then come back up to it, it's gonna stay in tune better than if it's above the note and you come down to it. And whenever it's really close and you're just wanting to tune it just a little bitty bit, instead of just doing that, what you can also do is grab it, tune it way below, and then come back up to it and it might be easier for you to hear it that way, especially if it's just a little bit high. Then you can go and come back up to it. But that's just basic tuning, um, tuning methods in general. So same with this. This is getting almost in tune. This is almost in tune, um, even more. And for these, we're going to actually be tuning higher. Um, if you see this and whenever we say high and low in music we're talking about pitch and funny on the guitar but this is up and this is up so these are going up the strings this is going up the frets but in space of course this is down and this is up so it's it's just something uh, something to keep in mind we're talking about pitch when we say up and down the main thing is that when you are tuning with a tuner you're generally just trying to get this balance. Also, if you have the big dial, what you're doing is you're looking for that note and then you're looking for that to hold the needle at the point. I don't have one brought up here, but if you do have like um, Clear Tune or something is a great app, it has a needle or a spinning dial. 
and you can, you're just trying to line that up. So that's the way to do it. You might have to play the note multiple times because it might register and then go off and do something else. And that's perfectly fine. Just keep it to where it can hear you. You can also, with the electronic tuners, I really like the ones that just clip right here and that way you always have it. And that way you don't have to deal with getting your phone out. But that's, you know, that's just a little tip. Something small clips to your guitar, it's always there. It's pretty nice to have. All right, that is how to use an electronic tuner or somewhat how to use an electronic tuner. Don't be afraid, just dive in. There's many of them free and paid, um, both on the, on the web and also on your phone, regardless of what kind of phone you have, and also as uh, dedicated devices from music stores or Amazon or somewhere like that. Okay, have fun and take care. Bye-bye.